All right, all right, all right. What do we have here? Another running back on our hands from the Chargers. Austin Eckler, number 46 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2022. Let's get into it. It's like, I want to see squats. Like well, that's 220. Like 700, 800 pounds. It's like Look, uh, I don't know about seven or 800, but uh, it's at least 500. And that seemed easy. Like a truck or a tiger. Reeps, bro. For reps. Or a bear. All those workout videos that he posts on social media pay off. Like he could squat a bear. That's crazy. <laughs> Coming from the man who got four reps in the bench press at, at the combine. I get it. Come on, you give me some pops? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, all right, let's have a look at his stats then. Nick Minnett. Boom, here we go. 27 years of age, May 17th, 1995. Five foot eight. 200 pounds. Went to uh, Western Colorado from 13 to 16. Undrafted in 2017. He comes in at, f yeah, like I said, five foot eight. Okay. Running back, not bad. He is actually five foot eight and five eighths of an inch, so I'm gonna say five foot eight and a half. Give him that. In fact, you know what? He's closer at five eighths of an inch. He's actually closer to five foot nine than five foot eight. And with that in mind, I'm gonna edit this shit. I'd honestly I'd love to give him another inch. I really would. But I feel like I feel like these stats here on the side are actually inserted by NFL.com for whatever reason, whereas his story, so to speak, can be edited. So, uh, let's get down to his stats. 72 games played, 2,812 yards total, including 911, which is his career high last year, 12 touchdowns, which is also his career high by a fucking long shot. It looks as if he's... I don't know what's happened, but he, he had 206 attempts last year. As opposed to 116 the year before, 132 the year before that, 106 the year before that, and 47 in his rookie year. Still averaging, you know, fairly decent yards. I mean, he's, he's never gone under 4.2 yards per attempt. Doesn't matter how many attempts he's had. 21 total touchdowns, like I said. 282 receptions, 2,726 receiving yards, including 647 last year. I'm going to say that he's probably been targeted more so as a receiver than a running back. And certainly was in 2019. But what that means, guys, is that after five years, he's almost at 3,000 rushing yards and 3,000 receiving yards. So he's certainly a double. He's, he's, he's a threat all over the park. He's got more receiving touchdowns than rushing touchdowns. 21 rushing, 24 receiving. And uh, look, I'm just going to leave the rest to, to the video. Um, he's obviously strong. 448 for the 40 yard dash, 40.5 inches on the vertical, 10 for 8 in the broad jump. So, whatever he lacks in height, he certainly makes up in athleticism. Let's go. Austin Eckler popped onto the scene by posting his workout videos on social media. He posted on Instagram maybe like two years ago. He was doing like pull-ups with one arm. I'm just like, all right, Austin, like we know you're strong. Now he pops off the screen as much for his work on the field as in the gym. People see Austin, and he's like, oh, he play running back. Like, oh man, I'm about to go out here and do X, Y, and Z. Until you turn on the film, until you actually play against the guy, Austin's a very powerfully elusive little guy. I'm not saying anything. I'm just listening. He's low to the ground, big legs. He's like a bowling ball. I remember I tried to tackle him one time, and it's just, it's hard to wrap him up. Look at that, he's so low to the ground, and he's able to manage at least five out of it. He's got a lane, 35, 40, still on his feet, 45, still on his feet, 50, still on his feet. There are three guys all bigger than Austin Eckler, and they couldn't bring him down. One-on-one -on -one in open space, uh, it's, that's a tough tackle for anybody to make. He can make you miss. A lot of broken oh, sh oh, he can certainly make tackle. you miss, all right. Strength to be able to pull through a tackle to finish it off in the end zone. Can lower his shoulder. Just puts his head down and oh. people over. You can look like he's, he's stopped. 
or y'all should have had him for a loss. Is this Barry Sanders or is this Austin Eckler? It's one missed tackle or one broken tackle, and then it's 20 yards later, it's 30 yards later, or it's a touchdown. Eckler has a man to beat, and of course he makes the first man, second man miss, still on his feet, oh. touchdown! I shouldn't have scored that, but that's... Chargers! Bang! And again, and bang! Eckler That's what I'm talking about. That has both the agility and quickness to excel in the open field. I like That's it, man. Well I like it. That's like a rugby step. I do like it. I mean, I don't know what a rugby step is constituted as or by, but um, there's a guy called Benji Marshall that does that kind of thing. One, bang, two, bang, three. You know, these three players. The power to succeed these. near the goal line. Moves the pile down to the Still four, down to the three, down to the two, down to the one, across the Well, I'll tell you what, if I ever did see a team effort, that's it. And he is one of the NFL's best receivers out of the backfield. Yeah, no, I, I, I can see that, yeah. He got 950 yards one year. As a running back? All right. I think he's one of those guys that you know, can easily have 2,000 scrimmage yards, you know, a season. How about Eckler making history the most touchdown receptions by an undrafted running back in NFL history? Hoyer. Well, guys, I certainly enjoyed that, and I think we're going to enjoy this one just as much. Jo Jordan Poyer. Now, when I see his face and I see his name, I think struggle. I think coming from rock bottom to... The heights of the NFL. And uh, I'll say no more. Austin Eckler, best of luck for this year, mate. Going to absolutely enjoy seeing you play. And, and I'll tell you what, if you're still available in round five, six, or seven in my fantasy draft, I might actually pick you up. So cheers, mate. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.